The MyGo Flight HUD is incredibly easy to use. There's only four buttons, and in flight, I'm really only adjusting the brightness of the HUD anyway, so all the information is there. I'm just going to control how bright it is when I'm looking at it. Flying by hand. So this is the game changer with the HUD. So if I have the flight director set up appropriately on the autopilot, I'm going to get a little magenta flight director cue that I'm going to put inside the flight path marker. So let's say I want to intercept an approach, and I'm on a heading to intercept, and I have the flight director set up for heading and approach intercept. That flight director cue is going to move, and all I have to do is put the flight path marker over on top of it in this way, the flight director cue inside the flight path marker, and I'm flying the course that's set up. It's even more impressive when I'm shooting an approach. If I have the flight director set up in approach mode, all I have to do is follow the little magenta ball down, and I'm going to be right where I need to be. And again, my head's outside while I'm doing it. I'm not having to move my head back and forth between the PFD and looking outside. And think about it if you were shooting an instrument approach. If we're shooting the approach and we're looking for lights or we're looking for the runway environment, the place that we really want to be, especially single pilot, is our head outside. But we can't easily do that if we're trying to hand fly the approach and look at the primary flight display. The HUD makes this, is, is the game changer for this because now my head's outside. I'm looking at the airport, or looking for the airport environment at the same time while tracking the instrument approach. This is the first HUD that I've ever flown that has multiple colors. Everything else I've flown has only been monochrome. And especially when you look at the flight director queue and the flight path marker, it's clear. I know exactly where I need to put the flight path marker because the flight director queue is a different color and it stands out. I was really impressed at how well the color variation stands out between the green and the magenta. Anytime new technology is presented, whether it was full glass cockpit displays or the iPad or a general aviation HUD, it all comes down to training. We can adapt because our flying skills are always going to be the same. We're doing the same mechanics to fly the aircraft, but now we're doing the same mechanics with a different way of looking at information. And I remember how overwhelmed people were when they had to modify their instrument scan from the standard six pack of instrument to these big 13 to 15 inch monitor displays where all of the flight information is displayed in a little bit different way than they were used to. The HUD is no different. We're taking information that you've already seen, we're actually displaying it in a way that looks about the same as you saw in your primary flight display, but your eyes are looking somewhere else. This is only, this can be easily resolved with training. And through my GoFlight and appropriate flight instructors, you can get that training and you'll find that it's not very difficult to use at all. Good solid foundation of training, like we said, is important for any time we use new technology. But the second, even more important piece of that is you gotta use it all the time. Once you've been trained on it, don't just say, oh, I'm only gonna use it when there's an instrument approach procedure when the weather's bad. This needs to be an integral part of your flying because if you integrate it into everything that you do flying-wise, then it's just another tool in your toolkit that you use. I think that it's important that once you're trained, start using it for taxi and takeoff and cruise. Don't fold the glass up. If, if you want less information or you don't want it so bright, just dim it down, but don't ever turn it off. This isn't just something you should use once in a while, it's something you should integrate into every flight.